enemy. <laughs> oh, I am not supposed to laugh. You've heard that the Japanese do not show their feelings, nor do I have big teeth and thick glasses. How sad to disillusion you, and how easy. Easy because you do not know the Japanese. You only think you do, and you're wrong. Let me show you how wrong you are. This is Japan. My Japan. It is lovely. Here, breezes soft and fragrant whisper the story of the moon goddess to feathery little pine trees. Here, dainty bridges hover over tiny streams like hummingbirds over flowers. Here, sacred fish ripple pools of water, cold and clear as winter sunshine. There too stands Fujama, a holy mountain, reaching down to the boiling center of the earth and soaring up to touch the stars, commanding us to fulfill our certain destiny to rule. Yes, my Japan is lovely, is it not? This too is my Japan, the frame around the picture, the hard backbone of the graceful bamboo tree. Flimsy buildings made of paper and wood, one vast torch waiting to burn at the drop of an incendiary... <laughs> Look again. Neither fire nor earthquake can level our city. You are finding that out, are you not? Nor do your bombings particularly impress us. London was bombed. Did England die? Tokyo, Osaka, Yokohama, drop your bombs. You cannot destroy Japan by turning cities into black and bubble, by wiping out a few inexpensive lives. You are finding that out too, I do not. You cannot destroy Japan because you cannot destroy its heart, the Japanese people. you can, and the message to pose amuse us. You say you can destroy us by starving us out. <laughs> you forget that we're not like you. We have no soft bellies crying for beefsteaks and butter and candy. We live well on simple food, easy to get. Starve us? It is easier to starve a fish in the ocean. You say you can destroy us by making sacrifices. How we suffer when you do not have a full tank of gasoline. How devastated we are at the sight of you jammed into pleasure trains. How we tremble when you have to wait to get into movies, restaurants, nightclubs. Sacrifices? What a delightful and foolish sense of humor you have. Or do you really take yourself seriously? We don't. We think you're stupid. An admirable quality for an enemy to have. You say you can destroy us by outworking us. <laughs> you must forgive me. This is one of the most amusing ideas of all. You have not met our workers, have you? Meet them now and see by our lives. They work long hours in you do, twice as long quite often. Why not? They are not working clock. They are working to win the war. 
They do not make as much money as you do. Well, they are not working to make money. They are working to win war. They work every day of every week. Is this so strange? They are not working to get days off. They are working to win the war. And they stand for hours in long lines to buy these. Japanese war bonds. Find me later? Again, you show your stupidity by assuming that we are like you. We hold our bonds to win the war. You say you can destroy us by outfighting us. You cannot. You cannot outfight us because the path ahead of you lies straight up the steep and rocky mountain of Japan and it is slippery with blood. Your blood. You are a nation of bargain hunters. You will not be willing to pay the full price of victory in pain, in work, in money, in lives. Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Saipan, Iwo Jima. You boast of them as made our victories. Who you are. Us, they are minor defeats, the loss of violent outposts. You Americans are fond of saying, look at the score. Very well. Look at it. You sent your finest troops against these outposts. They died by the thousands. Here they are, massacred, slaughtered. But you took the island, you say. Yes, we expected you to. That is why we garrisoned them with second-rate troops. The best of your lives for the worst of ours. We, too, know a thing or two about bonds. You have not yet faced the best of our armies. You have faced only 10% of our worst. Our first-line fighters, millions of them, wait for you on battlegrounds of our own choosing. Wait across vast waters which send out your supply lines and weaken your fighting strengths before you even reach. They wait in Ma Japan, in China, in Burma, and all the other half of the world. Our half. And they laugh at you because you are so warm about them. They have reached full strength, you say. There are no more replacements. Listen well. More men, many more, enter our armies every day, month in and month out, and we lose in casualties. They are ignorant little savages, you say. Ignorant? Ninety percent of our armies can read and write. 